Hi, I'm Dr. Kent Weathers, and this is the Root Tip of the Week. And let's begin with a little magic. Here's a little magic with an ordinary cotton roll. If I take it in my hand and tap it, watch what happens. Let me show you a close-up of that and how you can use this in your dental operatory. If I take this cotton roll in my hand and tap it with this wand, it will change to any color that you select. What's your favorite color, Michael? Orange. Orange. Oops. I must have tapped it a little too hard. Maybe I should hit it again. Oh, there's the magic orange cotton roll. Now let me show you how this works. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks on this series, please go to endorootcamp.com. Hi, once again, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and this is the Root Tip of the Week. Today, we're going to be talking about rubber dam clamps. The good news is there's only three clamps that you will ever need to buy, and I'll show you how to modify those clamps so they will fit in any tooth in the mouth. Let's look at those three clamps right now. Basically, you only need two clamps in the molar region and one clamp for the anteriors and bicuspids. The 12A is designed for the upper left and lower right. The 13A is for the upper right and lower left. The small jaw goes to the lingual on the upper for the single root. But if you get them backwards, it doesn't really matter. The 9T is used on all anteriors and all bicuspids. And I'm going to show you how to modify that clamp right now so that you can put it on molars as well so technically, you might only need one clamp. So let's take a closer look at the number 9T. The T stands for tiger, and this is the modification that I have started using just recently. This particular picture is not the tiger clamp because you don't see the serrated jaws. But when you buy either a tiger number 9 or a regular number 9 clamp, the jaws don't line up. You'll have to take a couple of pair of pliers and bend the jaws until they align up and approximate each other. When you do that, not only will it work better for anteriors, but you can also place that clamp on any tooth in the mouth because it's not offset. If the clamp jaws are offset, it will slip over to the side and you'll have a very difficult time getting it off. The other thing I learned quite by accident, but it's very important, is that you will have to modify that number nine clamp by enlarging the hole on the lingual side. The lingual is this jaw right over here. The large wings go to the lingual. And if you don't enlarge that hole, what will happen is you'll find you cannot get this clamp back off of a molar or a bicuspid. So be sure and make that little hole a little bit larger. Modify that hole, make it larger, and you'll have no trouble going from clamp to clamp. The number nine retainer is placed on the tooth with a number nine retainer holder. By the way, you'll notice I'm not calling these rubber dam clamps and dam clamp holders. That's not a good way to discuss these things. We talk about a retainer to hold the rubber dam in place, and we talk about the retainer holder. Now, the retainer holder, if you're going to use this on posterior teeth, you will have to squeeze those jaws till they actually overlap in order to get that wide enough to where it will slip over a molar tooth. So once you modify that number 9 or number 9T clamp by enlarging the hole on the lingual to make it elliptical, and you place it in this retainer holder, or we like to call it the spreader, you'll be able to place it on any tooth in the mouth, and it will fit perfectly. Here's a photograph of the number nine placed on a bicuspid. The Handy Dam is a great rubber dam that does not require an extra frame. The frame is built right in it. And you can get the Handy Dam both in latex and in non-latex. One more thing. The number nine clamp works beautifully with the X-tip intraosseous system. If you place the X-tip, numb the tooth, and slip the rubber dam over the tooth and the guide sleeve, many times you won't even need to have a rubber dam clamp. But in the cases where you do need to have the clamp, you slip the rubber dam over, then you add the clamp, and it will hold everything nicely in place. That's all we've got. Let's put everything back in the top hat for today, and I'll see you again next time. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers. And I will see you at the next Endo Root Camp.